you take it out and shoot it visual. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, you feel me? Alright, now we're gonna get into this uh, award winning documentary you got yeah, out here yeah. on these streets, man. Right? Talk to me about, you know what I'm saying, putting together that documentary. Alright, man. It was hard. You, you directed it for about five years. You directed it, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so you just, who you teamed up with? You had a camera yourself or you got with some people and just. Um, <clears throat> my cousins who shot all my music videos, mm -hmm. they did the first half. And then in the middle of it, we revised it and I went with someone else okay. who was more experienced because they were, what they did was dope, but it just didn't go as far. And then plus, there was a conflict of interest because they're my cousins. So oh, uh, they was there. So we had, we bumped heads about what all we wanted. I wanted I wanted to lay it all on the table. Right, okay. And they okay. wanted to protect the family and family secrets, which that's what they're supposed to it's be understand. doing. But, you know, I know God and bring me to that and through that for me just to keep that to myself. Right. So, uh, but we, we, we all planned it out and you know, we moved on and got um I got my girlfriend brother to help me um um do everything else. Shout out to Adele and Rock Films and man, we 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 made like three cuts, four cuts of the documentary until we were satisfied. And then um he gave it to me and was like, okay, do what you're gonna do with it. And I just started entering into festivals, and I entered in 26 or something like that. Six of them I didn't get in, four of them I got in. Out of those four, I won three awards, and the one I didn't win for haven't happened yet, and that's the New York Hip Hop Film Festival. All right, and, and that's that coming film, up. Yeah, that, that film festival could change my life. Bro. Oh yeah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still waiting to hear back from Sun Sundance and yeah. But now congratulations on the ones you did already I appreciate it. Really. Yeah, I thank you so much yeah. man. I mean like my first time out, you know, and I talk to people all the time that's in this industry that don't get us they that that they'll put out maybe fifteen, try to get in fifteen festivals get selected to two and never win anything. Right. So my first time out, you know, I'm, that's amazing and I thank God for it. Because I don't know how blessed I am to get that because I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm a like, I'm, I just hop, book, rapper, documentary, yeah. you know, just right, so, right. I don't know, I didn't grow up in this crap, so I didn't know, like I thought everybody would get it like this, but right, okay. they don't. So I appreciate God, you know, shout out God for real. Okay, and uh, for the people who ain't seen the documentary, just what 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 do you think, or what can you say is your documentary? Is the is the overall message of your documentary? Like you know, every good story got a message behind it. Yeah, don't give up, man, on anything. Cause I I mean, like I was bad. Like the documentary wasn't told by me; it was told by my family, my mama, my brother, my homeboy who was doing coke with me the whole time, pastor, spiritual advisors. I mean, like, I ain't want you to hear from me. I want you to hear from the people that affected my sister, my son, my, my youngest son. Um, yeah, and and then they, they talk about my upcoming, my upbringing, the potential. They was like, oh, man, this man's going to be something. To what the hell happened to, like, oh, my God, I'm proud of him, you know? So to that story, I wanted to resonate, which it has been to, like, a lot of people because Regardless of what happens, whether it's what, I ain't gonna start throwing names out there, but if it's a, on, lands on the TV network, a streaming platform, I want to. That's that's not my main goal. It's a goal, because right. it's a financial goal. But my main goal of the documentary is to take it into these rehab facilities, screen it, talk, tell my story, and answer questions if they have it. Uh, that's hard, that's hard. All right, and uh, is this, is this available to the public yet? Not yet. Um, cause like I said, man, I don't learn that. This yeah, time. Right, right. So when you come out with something like this and you really, and they got a shot to oh, get yeah. on Netflix or Hulu or something, oh, yeah. okay. the first thing you do is make it private. Put it on okay. YouTube, make it private. And then when you do that, why it's in, it's in the, you, got, you go through the making it phase, it's done. The film festival circuit to get buzz, to get eyes on it. And then you probably get, you know, I didn't have a couple streaming platforms, smaller ones. All right. 
come to me about you know bringing my, my documentary on there. Um, ain't gonna lie, I almost went with this one lady. I, I, she had a, she just started her black streaming service. It was dope. It was on Amazon and all everywhere. But I just I was like, man, I'm jumping up too fast. I'm moving too fast because. At this point, I only had like three film festivals right. in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, we ain't even really hit back from yeah. nobody yet. Let's right, just wait right, and see right, what happens. Right, right. But sometimes when I hear a, a, a story like a black lady who started her, oh, you just want to go with that. Of course, you know of what course. I mean? So, of course. I can understand. All right, so, um, dang, I was going to ask you for a date, but I see uh, <laughs> it's a process. It's well, a process. Well, I mean, look, man, August 5th is the New York Hip Hop Film Festival. If I come back home and say I got a big announcement, you know what it is. But um, I don't know, man, but we just gonna keep fighting. We'll see. We'll see, because to be honest, it might not even be available the next year sometime. Right, right. I mean, I, so, I, I see the process. I yeah, understand what you're talking about. Because, you know, like, now, okay, let me. I'm trying to think if I want because I never said about this public. I never said this publicly, but I said it to you. Um, Cause I, I, yeah, I tell you, I know that. So, this is just this film festival here. In the last three film festivals I was in, whether it be virtual or because it's been, you know, COVID. Right. They are open it to the public. You still can go pay online to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but here at the Hip Hop Film Festival, you can't, you can't do that. They, they're showing it to like BET. You know, Source Magazine. Okay, right, right. Um, like, if I win the documentary, if I win the best documentary, I have a, uh, the prize for that is a meeting with the acquisition team for Revolt TV, who's owned by Puff Dad. Right. So I will automatically be on Revolt if I win this. Or if I don't win, there's so, like, they're just yeah, right, sending right. people up okay, there to buy yeah, yeah. So, A lot of possibilities. Yeah, definitely. Just, just, you'll and they're just talking there. softly on it. So, right. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, uh, we're going to wrap it up just with uh, some more stuff you got going on. I know you're doing stuff other than pushing this documentary, so just tell the people what else you got going on and um, what else I'm, to look forward I'm, to. I'm, I'm about to start lobbying the state of Florida and Tallahassee to um, make more more money and resources available for mental health. I'm a CRPS, a certified recovery. I'm not certified yet. I'm a peer recovery specialist. I have to wait for the Department of Children and Family to tell me that I'm forgiven for my past crimes before I can take the certification, which is a process. You know DCL. Okay, right. <laughs> but let me not say that on camera. I love, shout out DCL. Um, but I'm gonna start lobbying the, the state to, to give us more funds. I'm trying to bring a program down to, to a Scambia County. I don't wanna talk on it too much, but it's gonna change the game for mental health and just opportunities for people to better themselves, not only better themselves, but have a program that, that help with their self-care. And when I say help, I don't mean point you in a direction, we would point you in a direction with dollars, you know. Um, I'm working on that, I'm working on my second documentary uh, called The Thin Line Between God and Jesus. And um, I'm trying to find time to write the sequel to this book. I was just gonna ask you that. You had <laughs> Good success with the first one. I'm yeah. like, you got follow up. I mean, like, I'm halfway done. Every time I write it, I just throw it away. But it's the devil that wore the crown. So, um, you know, the first book is my brother, the devil and me, and the second one is the devil that wore the crown. And they are, you know, both books are based off the book of Revelation. So, mm, okay, yeah. All right, man. I just want to say thank you, man. Appreciate you for you know what I'm saying taking the time. I know you just got off work. I know you tired and all that. It's all good, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you took the time out. We finally got it done, bro. You I know appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Nah, hey, man. Y'all follow my dog. Y'all support my dog. Y'all share my dog. I ain't just talking about this video. Every video, y'all share it, man. I support y'all people, man. This is uh, this is media right here. This is like, they say, this is not nobody. This is, for, for my street niggas, this is not stepped on. This is straight, straight, like, off the boat. So you gotta support people like this, giving you the stories of hope, giving you any kind of story, man, because our voices are being shut out, our voices are being stepped on, our voices are being suffocated. And 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 people like Ant, man, he's doing this thing, man, and, and getting these stories out there. So you gotta support that. And if he asks for, you know, some dollars, if he put out a link to say, hey man, help me financially do that. 
because like I had to do some of my documentary was crowdfunded. I wouldn't have got it done without the people supporting me with their dollars. And this man worked hard, and like, he don't get a, a dime off of it. But like, he's just bringing you the stories that help inspire you. So if it touch you, man, help him out. A share and a like don't cost nothing. I appreciate you, bro.